Valentine's Day too and I can already see on both varieties of marigold that I have little sprouts sticking out of the rockwell cubes and also on my kale I am starting to see them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use this little tool thing which you really don't need. I just like to use it because it makes it easier and I'm going to remove those rock wall cubes that have the sprouts and I'm going to put them in a different tray which I'm going to add water whenever these rock wall cubes seem like they need it and I'm also going to have this new tray um, under some light and I'm going to continue to grow these until it is time to move them into my system and we just kind of continue that process throughout the rest of these until everyone is about ready or until you're ready to move them into your growing system. Today is day four of the edible flower grow and I'm going to remove this humidity dome real quick from the tray. And as you can tell, I've already removed quite a few um, of the Rockwell cubes and it's mostly been the marigolds and the kale and collards that have grown the fastest and I'm still waiting on the different varieties of violas over here. Um, so what I've been doing is whenever I see little sprouts like this one right here, or even ones that are about that short, I take them from my humidity dome tray and I move them over to this little area over here. And I have it all labeled so I don't get them confused. And it's just a tray that I have a little light like set up above it. And I'm just kind of watering these until my system is ready to house these. So that is it for today. What's up everyone? Mandy here from On The Grow. And today we're going to be doing a deep clean out of this flood and drain system behind me because I'm going to be replanting it with all new uh, plants. So what we'll be doing first is I'm going to go through, harvest things like these flowers, the basil, and just kind of get what I can off of this system. And then next, I'm going to take each individual plant that you see here, and I'm going to transfer them into soil instead of in this system. So sometimes you can be successful with transplanting from hydroponics to soil, but not vice versa. And usually whenever the plants are a mature plant, it's a lot more successful than it is with like, say, a young sproutling. Um, but now that I've kind of explained that part, what I'm going to do after I have removed the plants from this is I'm going to clean everything with a food grade hydrogen peroxide and water mixture, which I have here in this little bottle. And then with these, um, what I'll try to do is also spray these off a little bit, rub them down, um, the net cups will just soak them in a sink probably with hot water and a little bit of food grade hydrogen peroxide and just try to do our best to get it clean so that's it i'm gonna go ahead and start getting this all cleaned out and we'll just show you a little time lapse of that going by real quick and we'll see you here in a bit Okay, so we've already gone through and I sanitized all of the uh, flood trays here with a hydrogen peroxide water mixture. I've gone through, I've cleaned all my net cups, the net cup holders and the trays. And we also went ahead, cleaned out our reservoir, filled it with new water, um, we pH balanced it and we added in our nutrients. And this time I'm going to be using um, the Canna Vega nutrient, which I have never tried before with my edible flowers, but we're gonna give it a go and see how it goes. But usually I use Blue Planet, they're awesome. Um, so now let's move into the exciting part, which is the actual planting. So if you look down here, 
we have some of the uh, Rockwell cubes that we started. These are just the ones that have taken the quickest. This, these have been growing for a week now. And as you can tell, almost all of them have already sprouted. The only ones that I'm still waiting on are more of the violas in all three varieties. They just take a lot longer. So now what you'll need is your 10 by 20 mesh tray, which you're gonna put into your flood channel. Then you're gonna need your net cup holder and your net cups. These are the two inch net cups and they are the heavy duty ones, which are awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and put all these in here real quick. So now all of our trays here have all their net cups and I've already kind of semi-planned out how I want to plant this. The top shelf is gonna be all my edible flowers and the bottom shelf is gonna be my collards and my kale. And I'm going to separate my violas and my marigolds just so I know which is which because once they start to grow and get to that blooming stage, it gets very abundant and it's hard to tell what is what. I made that mistake on my last one. So I'm going to start with these marigold red gems. And this is honestly one of the easiest parts about the whole process is you just take your rock wall cubes, you break them apart from each other. So you're left with your single cube and your single sprout and then decide where you want to put it. In my case, I'm going to put these here and you just take your net cup and you just stick your rock wall cube in there. And that's literally it. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to finish planting this whole thing. We'll do a time lapse on that because this is going to take me a little bit to do. Um, but after that, it's just starting the system and waiting over time for these to get to their adult stage. Okay, so we are done planting this. And if you want to come a little bit closer, uh, you can kind of see a decent amount of how I space this out. It's a little bare in some areas because I am waiting on the viola varieties to finish germinating. They've been the slowest so far, but what I've done is I've left a space in between each one because it gives it room to grow whenever it gets to that mature state. And then even down here with my collards and my kales, I've done the same thing. Plus I just have a whole empty area where I can add even more stuff if I wanted to. Um, so these are going to take a little while to hit maturity. I think my first set of um, the edible flowers, it took like three months, I believe, for it to finally get to that flowering stage. But once it did start to flower, it just kept going. So every time I harvested, new ones would pop up not that long after. And it just kind of continued that. So <laughs> with that being said, it is time to actually turn the system on. And from here on out, I basically can just step away and check on it. Things that you do want to be aware of is your water level. You need to make sure that these cubes are staying nice and saturated because if they dry out, your plants are going to die and they're not going to grow in the system. So you do want to check things like that. Make sure that's good. Make sure your lights are kicking on at the correct times. Um, you want to make sure you have airflow so that way you don't get uh, mold or any kind of issues. And then also the most important thing is making sure that your reservoir down here is staying full. You don't want it to get extremely low because it's very bad for your air pump or not your air pump, sorry, but your, um, your water pump and it can actually burn out the motor. And you also want to keep air stones in there so that way the water doesn't get stagnant. And also every time you refill your uh, reservoir, you want to recheck the pH level and you want to add your nutrients. If you were interested in this particular build, we did a video on it, which you can see on our YouTube. And we also did a previous video leading up to this edible flower video that shows the germination and seeding process as well. Um, but I believe that's it for this video. So if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We'd love to answer those for you. And also, if you'd like to subscribe to us, please do. And if you'd like to follow us on Instagram, we are at On The Grove Farms. Thank you and have a great day.